Well, we first need to check our Eclipse environment to make sure it's version 4.3 or Kepler, but it also needs to be the Java EE edition. Now this is important because the Java EE edition of Eclipse includes the plugin for the Web Tools platform, and it also includes the Maven integration with the Web Tools platform. Now don't worry about what those things are at the moment because we'll be covering those and what they do in a lot of detail in the coming tutorials. Now the other tool we also need is the Apache Tomcat server, version 7. That needs to be installed and running on your machine and I'll be covering that in detail in the next tutorial. But for now, how can you check your version of Eclipse to make sure it's the Java EE edition? Well I'll show you and if you haven't, it's not a problem, we can just go to the website and download it and install it. So let's cut across to Eclipse and let's check which version of Eclipse we're running on. Okay, so here we are in our Eclipse environment. Go to the Help menu, click on that, and then scroll down to the About Eclipse. We can check the exact version we're running. And we should be looking for this, the Eclipse Java EE ID for web developers. Now the plugins they include are the Java EE IDE, the Web Tools Platform, and also the integration for M2 with the Web Tools Platform. The other important thing to look for is the actual version. Now the version we need is Kepler, and I've got the service released version 2 here. Now Kepler is actually based on 4.3 of Eclipse. So what do we do if we're not running on this version? Well it's easy. All you need to do is fire up your favourite browser and go to the following URL. Eclipse.org slash downloads slash index hyphen developer dot php question mark release equals Kepler. And as you can see this shows up the Eclipse download page and the version we're looking for to install is the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Now you need to know whether your machine is 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm running Windows 7 and I know it's a 64-bit machine so I've downloaded and installed this version. Another option is that if you're a Spring developer or an aspiring Spring developer and you want to use Spring Tool Suite, and I'll take you to that URL now. Now this is the Spring Tool Suite or STS download page. It's spring.io slash tools slash STS slash all. And this code basically gives you the latest version of Spring Tool Suite. And as you can see, it's based on the same version of Eclipse, just 4.32. Now I've run and used the web application we're going to be using as an example on both Eclipse and Spring Tool Suite. So if you want to use this environment, you're most welcome to do so. Plugins are the same, so the whole procedure of what we'll be doing in the next few tutorials will be more or less exactly the same. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. But in the next tutorial, I'll be looking at how to download and install Apache Tomcat version 7. And we need that so we can run our web application. After that tutorial, I'll be looking at how to integrate Tomcat version 7 with our Eclipse environment.